question. Are we addicted to shopping? Especially at the grocery store? I think we are. Let's talk about it. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. How's everybody doing today? And as always, I hope that this video finds everybody doing well. Or at least we're all trying to muddle through it, right? Right. So let's make the very best of every day. Okay, you know, I do believe that every single one of us are somehow and somewhat addicted to the shopping experience. But today we're going to focus on the grocery store. And it occurred to me one day when I was visiting a friend, we were having a cup of coffee and... She always, God rest his soul, she's no longer here, but she, in my honest opinion, overtly shopped, okay? So one day for the fun of it, I was teasing her over a cup of coffee, and I said, hey, uh, so uh, why are you going shopping today? So she would say, because it's Tuesday. And then I'd look at her and go, but why are you going shopping today? Well, it's Tuesday. And then I'd look at her again and go, but why are you going shopping today? Look around you. We were very, very close friends, so we told each other everything. So, I have a friend like that, that you could, like, tell each other anything, and it's just, you know, amazing to have friends like that. If you have that, you have the world. We trust in each other. We care for each other. I so miss my friend. But she overly shopped. But I think every single one of us tend to do that. The love affair that we have with over shopping is kind of not entirely our fault. Don't forget, Madison Avenue suits, if you will, want us to shop. And it's great for the economy, and it's a necessary thing. We do want a great economy, don't we? Of course. But there's a difference in our personal lives between shopping and over shopping. Okay, look around in your own pantry. Look around in your own refrigerator. How many times did you buy stuff for someday, someday, and someday never happened? And then you look at the expiration date and go, why? That's never good because it ends up becoming food waste, okay? I do believe in being somewhat prepared, but I joke with people when they ask me about stockpiling because in my case, I live on Manhattan Island. I don't live on Gilligan's Island. So in my case, I am not going to overshop. It's expensive enough to live in New York City. Trust me. It, it just is, okay? However, this is where I was born, and this is where I'll probably die. Anyway, just saying. But we are addicted to shopping. Now, I tried to figure out something about the reasoning why we are over shopping. I'll be right back. We have been conditioned to think that the world will come to a complete halt if we don't have milk in our refrigerator even a few hours or a, a box of tea for a few hours or whatever. We just have been so conditioned. That's one reason. The other reason is that it's an experience, especially for retirees with the lives have changed and, or if you're a stay-at-home mom, sometimes a trip to the grocery store is... It's just a day out, and there's nothing wrong with that. But can you make your day out maybe a different experience? Or even if you do go to the grocery store for the walking and the you know, indoor climate control, if you will, during the bad weather months, I get that. We all kind of sort of do things like that. But if you could take a grab on what you are spending, there's a difference between shopping and spending. Shopping around means you are looking around, you are making an assessment. Sometimes that's going to result in a purchase, but not every single time. And that's what this Save $10 Tuesday is about. And one more thing, and this is in reference to fast food. Just because it says fast food doesn't mean it's inexpensive food. You're not necessarily getting cheap food out. You're getting food at a convenient situation and you're going to actually pay for it. And don't let those $1 menu things, they'll rope you in for that. They'll get you on an expensive drink. And then you'll say, you know, that little bitty thing's really not enough for me to eat. And you end up buying these two or three. At the end of the day, you have overspent. If you have the funds, 
hey, be my guest. I don't care if you eat fast food every day. But if you have a goal to pay down your debt, to pay off your mortgage, put away money for school, whatever, whatever your goal, savings goal, and you waste money on that all the time, it is a waste. So on the Save $10 Tuesday, walk away being more mindful. And another thing, take inventory of the stuff that you have at home. This sounds really funny, but I have done some math. I guess I am sort of a bean counter at the end of the day. I figured out that for this family's uh, household, we go through two rolls a week of bathroom tissue. Okay, <laughs> so I know factually that there are four calendar weeks in a month that there's eight guaranteed rolls needed. You have to throw in a roll or two extra in case you have guests. So we're calculating it at about 10 rolls per month. That is fixed. And I'm not giving up bathroom tissue for anybody. So there. So run your home like a business. Identify, are you shopping for the necessity of it? Or are you shopping for the, I just want to get out of the house of it? Find less expensive ways to get out of the house, like taking a simple walk. And in the meantime, this has been Jam New York City. Thank you so much for viewing appreciate your time because I value you. Don't forget to come back in the future for more tips. Have a great day.